We study particles because just after the Big Bang, all there was was particles. And they carry the information about how our universe started and how it got to be the way it is and its future. At the beginning of the 1900s, it became clear that all known matter, everything that we know about, is made of atoms. And that atoms are made of just three particles the electron, the proton, and the neutron. In the 30s, other particles were discovered. And by the 1960s, there were hundreds of new particles with a new particle discovered every week. And there was mass confusion. Until a number of theorists realized that there was a simple mathematical structure that explained all of this that most of these particles were made of the same three little bits we call quarks, and that there are only a handful of truly fundamental particles which all fit together in a nice neat pattern. And there was born the standard model. Eventually, all the particles in the theory were discovered, except one, the Higgs. And the Higgs is unlike any other particle. It's the linchpin of the standard model. Its theory was written down in the 1960s by Peter Higgs and a number of other theorists. We believe it is the crucial piece responsible for holding matter together. It is connected to a field which fills all of space and which gives particles like the electron mass and allowed them to get caught in atoms and thus is responsible for the creation of atoms, molecules, planets and people. Without the Higgs, life as we know it wouldn't exist. But to prove that it's true, we have to smash particles together at high enough energy to disturb the field and create a Higgs particle. If the Higgs exists, the LHC is the machine that will discover it. So the LHC is basically the most fundamental of experiments. It's like what any child would design as an experiment. You take two things and you smash them together. And you get a lot of stuff that comes out of that collision and you try to understand that stuff. Now, in this case, what we're smashing together is tiny protons, which are inside the center of every atom. And in order to get them going as fast as possible, we have to build this huge 17-mile ring. And we run those protons around the ring multiple times to build up speed, almost to the speed of light. And then we collide two beams going in opposite directions at four points. And at those four points are four different experiments, Atlas, LHCb, CMS, and Elise. Now, I work on the Atlas experiment. An atlas is like a huge seven-story camera that takes a snapshot of every single collision. And that's billions of collisions. And the hope is that we'll see the very famous Higgs particle. But every time we've turned on a new accelerator at a higher energy, we've always been surprised. So the real hope is that we'll see the Higgs, but that there's also something amazingly new.